what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and tonight i'm gonna be feeding charlie and also i'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things one thing now you're not gonna be able to see me because i gotta I gotta get the rat but you will be able to hear me i apologize so as you guys know i fed nina about three days ago and also, as you guys know, my big boy Zeus, he's in shed. We'll also be checking on him tonight after we get Charlie all squared away and situated. Um, so this is the thing that sucks about feeding your animals different times. They have different schedules. And then you have animals like this, where she's hungry she wants to eat and then you have Nina over here where she just started today she just started to come out of her hide you know because once they eat it usually takes about two or three days for them to you know you know get that meal digested and start to you know come out now within those two three days they're gonna stay under their hide why because having that meal inside them well, they're vulnerable. They're vulnerable. And even in captivity, they're still going to do that because they don't want anything, you know, to cause them harm, do anything to them. Because if so, then they're going to have to go and regurgitate that meal. And that's what they don't want to do. Like I said in my last video, when they regurgitate that meal, it's coming up backwards. So the legs are folding and the nails on the legs are causing damage all to the esophagus which could result in them going on a hunger strike. So keep that in mind when you feed your animal. Feed them and then leave them. Feed them, leave them. Remember that, okay? Cool. Let's get this girl fed. I hope, I know it's Tuesday, but I hope everybody had a good weekend. hope everybody had a good Mother's Day. Is it Tuesday or is it Monday? No, it's Monday. What the hell am I talking about? I'm a day ahead and a dollar short. <laughs> Ain't that funny? I made it funny. I made it funny. Oh, you guys are going to see if uh, if Charlie will take this rat from me. Which she might. She just might. I know she's hungry. So, let's get this girl fed. There you go. Okay, let's get a closer look. She took it from me. Actually, you know what? Let's go inside. Closer look. But now, this is what I'm talking about. So now, she was all, you know, ready to eat. And... See how Nina is? She thinks she's going to get something to eat. She thinks she's going to eat. Now, as you see, she left me a little surprise right there. Right at the entrance of her hide. So polite. Gotta love it. But, this is what I'm talking about. When you have animals and you feed them on different schedules, then you're going to have one animal digesting and another animal you're going to be feeding. And this animal that, that's digesting is going to be, you know coming out interested in eating again because they're going to think that they're eating again they smell it they 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 know that there's prey in the in the room you know and trust me i'm not excited i'm not happy that these animals are on different schedules you know i'm really not but hey 
I gotta feed my animals. I do. Nina, she'll she'll live. She'll deal with it. You know. Zeus, he's still in shed, like I said. And I'll feed him, but I won't feed him until he comes out of shed. <clears throat> Which I'm hoping is soon because he's been in shed for a few days now. Hold on guys, I'm gonna put you down for a second. Whoa, that is bright. Where are ya? Okay, so here's Zeus's hot, um, tank, and he's under this box here. He's under here. So let's just check on him, see how he's doing, see if he shed yet. Just make sure the guy's still alive. You know, I actually, I really need to get him a bigger hide because this one is just um, a. You know, really small. It's really tight. I mean, they do prefer tight areas. They they really do. In fact, if you have an animal, if you have a snake and it goes missing, look in areas that are like really, really tight. Areas that you would never have even expected for an animal to get to. Okay, so let's just check on them. I'm going to lift it up. And there you go. Looks like he's uh, clearing up. So in the next like day or two, he should shed out. I'm hoping. You know, so let's get all this uh, moss, moss back. I'll put all this moss back and then uh, I'll give it a quick spray to get that humidity up. Now, when they're in the shed, when they're in the shedding process, I like to try to put a lot of moss around the hide that that they're under. A lot of, some people will actually put moss under the hide that they're in. But as you know, if uh, if they stay in an area that's, that's too moist, they could uh, develop a, like a scale rot on, along their belly. So, because of that, I do it like this. I just put moss around. The, oh, you can't, you can't even see it. I put moss around the the hide, and then I'll spray around the hide. You know, just to build up the humidity, and you know, then obviously, I'll spray down the rest of the hide, the, the hide, rest of the tank. But yeah, I'm gonna spray down the rest of the hide. Sorry, guys, it's just been one of those nights. It's been one of those days, really. All right, give me a second. And that's it. y'all go there you are okay so all right you guys saw me you saw charlie take the rat checked on zeus you guys even got a glimpse of nina and um yeah so i'm just gonna cut this video off here because i gotta feed the gecko oh you know go show you how he's doing oh um Okay, so I don't know if you can see him, but he's right here. Okay, there's the guy. There's the big guy. So I gotta feed him. I gotta, uh, I gotta moisten his, uh, his moisture hide. And check on the score. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your night. Please enjoy the rest of your night. Do me a favor. Take a second, be kind to people, be kind to someone, all right? I say it in just about every one of my videos. I try to say it in all my videos. Take a second, be kind to somebody because you never know what people are dealing with, all right? And just have a good night, guys.
All right. I'll see you in the next one.